Okay, folks, what I have for you here today is a nice little Henschel grandfather clock. Um, some may look at this and say, well, it's not a grandfather, it's a grandmother. Well, it's, it's uh, 78 inches tall, I believe. I'll confirm that in a minute. So that puts it in the height of a grandfather clock. It is a pinch waist. It is a narrow case. So it is a little small in stature as far as grandfather clocks go, but it does qualify for a grandfather clock. Um, Henschel is a German company. They generally make very nice cases and this is one of them. has a nice shine to it. Very nice finish on it. Um, nice little side uh, columns here. Uh, there's four of them. Two in the back, two in the front. I'll run you down the side of the case here so you can see it. does have a Hernley German movement in it, so it's got a very nice movement. As always, we've gone completely through the movement. Um, this clock was in very nice condition when it came in. The case is pretty much the way it came in. Uh, we just cleaned it up. It does have a double door, as a lot of these pinch waists do. It has beveled glass on the bottom door. It has a working moon dial with the blue background and the constellations. Um, lunar calendar. So this is a working moon dial. Um, as soon as that clock stops, I'll let you hear it chime. It does have a sweeping second. Very nice detail on the uh, on the dial here. It's got a very nice dial and it is a triple chime. It plays Westminster, St. Michael and Winnington. Actually, Winnington, let me put it down. Westminster. Chris likes to have them on something other than Westminster. So, as you see, it has a very nice tone to it. Um, banded weights. Polished brass pendulum. Get my legs out of the way there. Sorry for the glare. Nice detail on the bottom of the case. Overall, very nice clock. Um, this clock also has an automatic night shutoff. It's right here. That's the way Hermley did it in the, uh, I don't want to say early days, but this clock's probably out of the early 2000s, somewhere in there. Um, very nice, very nice clock. Um, some people, I know what I was going to do, standing here trying to think what was I going to do next. Some people have requested that I show how you wind these clocks up. These new modern grandfather clocks are key wound. They don't want a cable. The cable's right there with the pulleys. Simply all you do is once a week, you put the crank in, you wind the clock up. This clock's moving a little bit because it's not, you know, I don't have the, the legs completely level in the position it's in, but, you know, when it's when it's installed and, and it's properly leveled, it won't be moving like that. So, that is how you wind up these newer modern grandfather clocks. I'll be including that in all my videos from here forward, as, like I said, it was, it was requested. Again, if you're seeing this clock on eBay, you're noticing a difference in price. That difference in price is because of the eBay fees I have to pay. Also, uh, check with me on shipping. You have to contact me on shipping. It is not payable, nor does it go through eBay. Um, I have a company that goes to the Midwest, and the company that goes from the Midwest to the, to the West Coast. So, um, shoot me an email with your zip code, and I'll get you a quote directly from the shipper. And I will uh, send that directly to you from the shipper. Um, I don't add anything to it. Uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to call me direct. 508-944-9645. And there you have it.